Good morning. Amen. Put your hand together and thank God. All right. You get your Bibles out. <coughs> Give me Romans chapter 15. Romans chapter 15. Good to see Jeff back from protecting us. Amen. He said he missed the smell of his wife. Woo, don't take it. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. That's why men don't marry funky women. Y'all know that? <laughs> Man, your wife smell good. Sometimes you're late to church. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Romans. Oh, y'all want to talk? Okay, it's not Tuesday. Romans chapter 15. Amen. You sure that ain't two in your stomach? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> two look of bungees. <laughs> Romans 15. Look at verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Can were, you imagine two little kabungees with dark skin, brown, hazel eyes, and blonde hair? I'm still, I'm taking one of those kids. <laughs> Man, I'm going to sign up. I'm going to be right at the hospital. When they come out, I'm like, <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. All right, back to the Bible. Read 15 to 4 again. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Might have hope. So, Dr. Hope, the uh, spies, that whole incident, which is very deep, because these men messed these people up. This is one of the greatest setbacks in the history. Um, that's for our example. So on Tuesday, they're learning not to marry one of the ten uh, uh, spies, the men with those characteristics, because they had certain characteristics, okay? Joshua and Caleb <laughs> had certain characteristics, and the ten spies, Kita, all had certain characteristics, all right? We're going to cover those this morning. So that's for our example that And here's a key point, Tamika. The whole purpose of looking at the land, because, and you say, why are you teaching this? Because somebody's on the brink of a breakthrough. Amen. Right now, all right? With the, with the Shemida coming up to the end, then you go into the, the, the year of all kinds. Of, man, somebody's at the door of a breakthrough. <laughs> all right? You're right at, the, right at it. What you've always been hoping for, looking for, you right at the door. This is not the time to mess up. No. Amen. So, Zuri, it never was a question if the land could be conquered. Right. It was how it was going to be conquered. If never came into the equation. Okay? So, if you look at Deuteronomy, uh, look at Deuteronomy chapter 1. Uh, you'll see Moses, he's, because Moses knows he's going to die. And so you're going to see a review, Queenie, a review of what took place. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 1. I think it starts, because Moses knows he is not going to live. So he reviews everything that happens. Uh, pick it up at verse 23. And the saying pleased me well. I started 22. I'm sorry. It's the middle of the thing. And you came near unto me, every one of you, and said, we will send men not before us. not schizophrenic, but I need verse 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all look at me like y'all ain't did that before. And I said unto you, ye are come unto the mountain of the Amorites, which the Lord our God doth give unto us. Behold, the Lord thy God had set the land before thee. You know, this could have been a real short Bible if these people would have said, yea, Lord, and went on, did it. Right. But if they didn't. 
<laughs> okay, they didn't. Read that again, and you can see what the, there's nothing in that that sounds as though they're going to be defeated. Read that again. Behold, the Lord thy God hath set the land before thee. Go up and possess it. Is, as, that, is that action? It's action. Possess it. So you learn on Tuesday, don't marry a man, mar marry a man or a woman of action. Oh, that's some heavy stuff. Um, in your data collection, you must uh, make note of their scent, their Jericho. The word Jericho means scent. What is their scent? So I said, oh, Pastor Bottle, what do you, what do you have on? It's, uh, what is it, uh, ombre suitin from pear. All that smells good, but that's not my scent. My scent is my actions, my thoughts, and my character, my deeds. That's Jericho. <coughs> okay? What's that person's scent? Their action. Their thought. I mean, I'm sorry, action, thought, and words. That's a person's scent. Their thought. What's what a man think if it is hard so? Is he? Okay. He could smell good. She could smell good. She could be a certified banger. But their sin is off. They're Jericho. Okay. They cannot capture their own Jericho. They're out of control. Notice, they didn't send as many people to Jericho as they did to the land. Okay? It's very important. So, go and possess it. Read. As the Lord God of thy fathers hath said unto thee, fear not, neither be discouraged. It's all positive, isn't it? Amen. It's all positive. Okay. Read. And ye came near unto me, every one of you, and said, we will send men before us, and they shall search us out the land and bring us word again by what way we must go up and into what cities we shall come. So Ariel, you're learning. Char, we in Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 23. So, so Ariel, you're learning like they didn't really have to do this. They wanted to do this. They wanted to go search the land. Okay? And Moses said because uh, when it comes to men of God or leaders, there are a lot of there are gray areas, right? I think I told Dante something. Anytime you see somebody operating in black and white, they ain't called a pastor, period. Period, okay? And you got to go turn to uh, page 87 in a manual to see how to handle stuff. No, 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 no. Turn your two top box, your box tops in and just get a little toy car or something. You ain't ready, okay, because you're operating in black and white. So many things come up, right? So it's something that they wanted to do. I said, okay. And, and my Hebrew is like, no, I wasn't necessary, but y'all want to go do it? So it's not the fact that they went to spy the land out or look at it. It was their attitude. Mm -hmm. It was their scent. Okay? Read. And the saying pleased me well, and I took 12 men of you, one of a tribe. I'm going to mess y'all up. If they would have sent 12 women, <laughs> they would have got it done. <laughs> okay. 12 women. These women in Hebrew were excited. They didn't like, what's the big deal? But they <laughs> still didn't have what it took to convince those men. And that's going to be hard for you. Some of y'all on the verge of no, I'm not convinced that you're going to stay in your present single state. Yeah. Somebody going to want to play with those Navy earrings, you feel me? <laughs> All right. Somebody said, I can't find my earring. That's a good thing. All right. Uh, but you're going to have to know when to put on the brakes, 
when to step on the gas. The woman who was married to on or on O N, she said, no, he will not participate in this rebellion. I got this. Okay? So these ten women should have convinced these men to look at the fruit. Especially when I showed the traits that all ten of the men had. Okay? Read. And they turned and went up into the mountain and came into the valley of Eshol and searched it out. So Tamika is very inquisitive. Say, okay, well then, that means that Joshua and Caleb's wives must have been a bomb. Okay, could be, or it wasn't necessary. To, it's not necessary to flex when you have a positive man. He doesn't argue or nothing. He got it. Are you just beaming? You just beaming and like I got the hookup after he gets done doing what he got to do. You just have because he's 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 he wants to possess it. He wants to possess. We're not talking somebody want to possess you. Mm -hmm. That's a fool. That's right. Okay. We're talking about somebody wants to possess what God has for them in this life. Amen. And you are a part of it. And you are a part, when that man marries Zuri, with all she's been through a young age, you are part of the construction team. Where you, I can get it done. I can't get it done without you. Amen. Okay, that's how important you are. Especially when you have been, man, in Boston. I don't know how I didn't know. There were 8,000 musicians who applied to go to that school. <laughs> I'm just learning this while we was there. 8,000 and only 460 were accepted, oh, and one of them God. came from me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. That's all good. That child can't hook up with just anybody. That's right. <laughs> 8,000. And you had an audition. 460. And one comes out of this church. Okay. We don't want him hooking up with someone who will slow him down. Right. <coughs> to show you, Keita, we, we walking down the street, Boylston. <laughs> Nate, somebody, parent, pulls up in this matte black Audi 7 for whatever. And the kid jumps out, has just like warm-up gear, and he says, okay, dad, jumps out, and steps into a rose phantom. <laughs> it wasn't like no flossing, like, it's just like, this is like a cab to me. <laughs> and we were watching, and me and Linda, we just like, look at this. He just, okay, dad, all right, jumps in, you know, has those reverse suicide doors. He comes out, he jumps in a phantom, like he jumped in a yellow cab. And this child who has a single mother will not be one whit behind. We don't want nobody slowing him down. Amen. He's at the brink. You ought to see what it did to Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony was it. Mark Anthony was like, I said, Mark Anthony, look at this Boston architectural school right there on the same street. Mm -hmm. Mark looking at what would it take to move here? Mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me? Uh -huh. Matter of fact, we're going we gonna, to we gonna dedicate September is the month you operate in your gift. Amen. Quit, you at the brink of something. Operate in your gift. Don't sit there and be at the brink and then all that fear and that, all the uh, attributes of the uh, ten spies kicking. Told one of my daughters, got caught up, went with her, but she got caught up in, well, you gotta be focused. You're up there giving rebels access to you. <laughs> if they did what you did, they'd be in a blessed position. They didn't, but you don't get them access. You, they holding your dream up. You roll up on that birthday and you ain't where you at. <laughs> Only thing about birthdays, if you roll up and you ain't where you want to be, Man. anybody grown in here you know what I'm talking about? Man. You roll up on a birthday and you ain't where you want to be. Man. Or where you think you should be. It's automatic depression. 
No ice cream, no slice of cake can make you feel better. Okay. Well, give yourself access to rebels. Going to use you. Well, learn to leave people alone. And that's not being selfish. That's being at the brink of the promised land. Okay. Read. And they took of the fruit of the land in their hands. No excuse. Kelly, that's when Kelly Joe should have kicked in. Honey, what you talking about? Look at the fruit of the land. Mm. The fruit. <laughs> what do you see? Do you see God or do you see giants? Wow. If you see God, Amen. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see what? God. We see God. We don't see giants. The fact that God will see me where giants is just means I'm going to have a giant testimony. That's all that means. That they represent the testimony I'm going to have. Right? It's all vision. It's that sin of a person. How do they think? Oh, she's fine. He's fine. But you have to live with how they think. What you got to live with, all right? Their thoughts are off. Their sin is off. They'll have the fruit of the land and can't get it done. Mm. Okay, read. And brought it down unto us and brought us word again and said, it is a good land which the Lord our God doth give us. Read. Notwithstanding. <laughs> Here we go. Nevertheless. Mm -hmm. Read. Ye would not go up. <laughs> no but... action. Okay. Let's write these things down. I'm going to be on this for a while. It has seven bad traits. Character traits. In Hebrew it's called a pasul. That's a defect. <laughs> How many like to return stuff It got a defect? Right. And you like, get that thing. See, when I go try on shirts, I don't try on the shirt I'm going to buy. <laughs> That's certainly. <laughs> I try on the size. <laughs> I want the one with the tissue paper still in it. If it's dealers, make sure they got a yellow tag. I mean, somebody done put their behind in it and turned it, returned it. So always turn off, see if you got the yellow tag. Somebody been to try your shirt on, didn't have no deodorant that day. Okay. <laughs> and you be like, that ain't me. No, it's that shirt you bought on top. <laughs> Ask sometime, do they have some in the back? I do it with shoes too. Because I have about five a pair of shoes, whatever number I have. Here. But you know, if they put them out front, those halogen lights can change the color. Mm. Y'all didn't know that? Yeah. But I got it on sale. Yeah, look at it. They mismatches. <laughs> one of them is dark blue. <laughs> the other one is light blue. That's why they sold them to you for a dollar. Because <laughs> the lights change the color. So you ask for something. I, I, why, why should I tell y'all? Sometime, I can't get off of it. Sometime, we're talking about defects. Sometimes they'll cut the calf different. So one shoe, even on the back, will outshine the other shoe because of the greater calf is different. So you got one buff shoe, look like glad, other one look like it's dull. Mm -hmm. So then the person will tell you, well, I'll go ahead and buff the other shoe and break. No, you can't. You got to go cut the calf. What you? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not that picky. All right. Well, make sure you're that picky when it comes to a companion. Yeah. Amen. Are yeah. oh, you spend all your life trying to buff that up? <laughs> <laughs> that defect out. You know what love is? Love is I see your defects. Mm -hmm. but I don't care I can handle them you know you got a lot of people tell the truth my daughter told a man 
Here's, man, she didn't leave out nothing. Here's what's wrong with me. Now you make up in your mind we're going to have another date or not. Amen. Now we're going to have another date to be married. How long y'all been married? 17 years. <laughs> with somebody saying, here my, you know, most people try to hide the spot. Right. Why don't you take your left hand down? I, no, I was born that way. <laughs> then lo and behold, pow! Okay? Defects. Here, 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 here's the problem with these people. Write this down. This might be. First thing, doubt. And they said it in poor English. We are, we, how do, how do they say it? We be not able. <laughs> That's a flag right there. <laughs> if you educate. Well, how can we be not able? Check, please. <laughs> well, what's wrong? We be, come on now, not able? <laughs> That's doubt. Because doubt opens up the door for the, mm hmm. No, for the Amalekites. They're going to fight. Doubt brings in Satan. you are going to, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's one of those Kellum answers. Mm-hmm. Doubt. That's one characteristic. The second thing. Write this down. Doubt caused them to question their resources. Mm-hmm. As well as their God. Doubt. Doubt. Doubt, doubt. The second characteristic. Poor self-image. Wow. I'd rather you think you're the bomb than you, for you to have poor self-image. Because if you're the bomb and you're wrong, you just blow up. <laughs> <laughs> if you think you're the bomb and you're not, you're just going to blow up. right? But if you have poor self-image... Right? And it's deep, deep seated. Poor self image was they saw themselves, my knee, as grasshopper because they had those freaks, those, that freaky giant race when God, those two angels said, God, I'll go down there and serve you. Then they seen Serena Williams is behind and they said, No, nah, we can't serve you, God. That's just my version of what really happened. Uh, two angels told God, yeah, we'll go down there and live for it. They went down there and they went deep and bit their fists and everything. <laughs> Don't tell that version. Just tell and so they had a, a land of giants. Okay. Two crazy angels. Okay. So, so, so some of these giants were left over. And then what happened was, Dante, they were, these giants were just, killing each other and the last righteous person that lived there was Job and so it's, it's interesting uh, in Hebrew a righteous person is like a shade tree with a, with a, with a strong uh, 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 on a strong sunny day the righteous person is shade on a sunny day okay so the tree the last shade tree was dead that was Job it makes sense. Righteousness exalted a nation. Okay? The saints of God are the shade tree. <coughs> okay? Without us, God, man, come on now. He'll wipe this place out. Right? And so they had a poor self-image. Uh, yeah. Somebody's always smarter than me. Oh, I can't do what they do. Just man. As opposed to those people who think they the bomb and all that. I was watching this fight yesterday. And this man, this dude came out and he was sticking this dude. And the dude he was sticking was undefeated. And sure enough, what did he do? He, uh, he was coming in and he got caught. The man undefeated got caught. So the announcer says, now we're going to find out. Okay, before they were saying, here's what he has going for him. He doesn't know how to lose. 
He hasn't trained himself to give up. Now, I don't mean nothing to you until you marry someone who gives up on your watch. Amen. You're going to say, man, he hasn't trained himself to give up. The, the man who does our work here, who's working on the back, he's going to, you know, he used to work for this company. And the man was using him because this man I heard used to build, build military bases in uh, his country. And then he had to stall over here. And, you know, so then this man was using him. And, 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 and I got to give it to this man. So we gave him the first project to kind of launch his business. Mm -hmm. And so here's a man who, who, who had us start all over again, who, who didn't go, well, I built military bases. What's a roof on a raggedy church if I don't build military? No, I'll do that, but I know if I keep doing a good job, amen. Huh? I don't know how to quit on my skills. And sure enough, he did my, roof my house, got me like $9,000. And he, you know, and that's what helped launch him. He said, you know what? I prayed for your business. Mm-hmm. Now, you can rock with a man like that. Right. Uh, who had to come to another, I think he was in Honduras, had to start all over, had to go work for somebody temporary, right. amen. but believed in his talent. Mm -hmm. uh, and sure enough, amen, he was praying and launched him forward. Thank God, thank God, for someone who doesn't know how to quit, who will come up with another way to get the same thing done. I don't mean nothing to you. Till you hook up with something, God forbid, who quits with a degree. Who quits with talent on your watch. Hmm. Okay. And everything, you're going to get sick of talking to somebody who everything is an obstacle. Right. Well, what's wrong with today? Well, it's foggy. Well, what's wrong with the summertime? It's too hot. That's why you don't see no black men on the roof, do you? Unless they're escaping from something. <laughs> you, ain't see no, you, ain't, you ain't see no black men do no roofing. No. All right. Okay. What's wrong with the wintertime? It's too cold. What's wrong with spring? I might get wet. <laughs> what's wrong with the fall? Well, I may slip on a leaf. <laughs> huh? Why aren't you looking for a job? They ain't called me. So they got to come to your house, knock on the door. You understand what I'm saying? You get tired of that mess, right? Everything's a giant to these men. Low self-image. The way they looked at themselves. And even if you have to build a man up, sister, don't be building somebody just to be married. You're going to get tired of it. When you go to lean on somebody and they ain't there, Okay, we go to sit down in the chair and, and they done pulled it. Mm -hmm. When they beat you crying. Like where are the tissue? I got it. <laughs> Could I just get one? I bought them. Y'all didn't think that's fine. All right, anyway, uh, so marry one then. Knock yourself out. Uh, third thing, fear. Ooh. Big one. Fear naturally follows doubt and a low self-image. Fear will paralyze you and keep you from acting, which means it messes with your scent. So somebody said, well, what happened to our love affair? I didn't, you, why, why didn't you tell me you were afraid of everything? Why didn't you tell me you had all that fear? Okay. Fear will paralyze you. What's another spirit? Oh boy. A critical spirit. A critical spirit. Whose fault is it this time? Mm -hmm. Well, if Pastor Barlow had have noticed me, how am I going to notice you when you ain't here? <laughs> <laughs> X-ray vision in your house? Huh? 
I know, I know some of y'all play the one service a week. Either you, if you do Tuesday, you don't do Wednesday. If you do one, we're not talking about people got to go to the hospital, though. We're talking about people just, you know, oh, you just need one word a week. All right, I ain't worried about it. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> Sooner or later, run into you a couple of times during the week. Because <coughs> pressure cooks a ham. <laughs> You're going to find out none of your shows, none of whatever you're doing. You're going to be, you're gonna be glad here where you'll be trying to listen to the podcast over again. Okay. Amen. But it's all right. Just keep playing back and forth, back and forth. All right? Come on now. A critical spirit. Notice what happened in chapter 14. Depression came on the phone. Because you got to listen to a bunch of negative people. How many of y'all don't like negative people? Just don't talk to me. If you see a negative person's phone number coming, don't answer. Right. How many of y'all have had negative people mess your day up? Just, just was doing wonderful. Uh, child, you got to hear this. Hear what? You've been broke since nursery school. What's different? You didn't have lunch money then. What's different? <laughs> huh? What's different? Okay. Critical. So now they started criticizing leadership. Don't get into ministry. Father, help your children. Man, you're going to fool around and tip, tip your keyboard over and cuss if I don't help you. Because <laughs> some of these children don't want no help. <laughs> They're going to blame you. All right. I'm not coming to Daydream Church. I'm not getting what I need. What do you need? <laughs> Come on now. What do you want me to preach about? Man, I ain't studying you. <laughs> what you... Shut up. <laughs> you better straighten no glasses out. <laughs> what you want me to? Man, I'll be schizophrenic and nutty. All right. Huh? That's right. What do you need? You know what you need? You need a word that'll make you jump off into the promised land. Hey, Amen. You need a word that'll make you take the fruit and the blessing and your gift and walk around like it's going to happen today. That's the kind of words you need. You need a word that will wipe out fear and every generational curve. You need a word, amen, that will catapult you. And ain't nobody stopping you but you. You're in a mess of relationship. Quit trying to, if God can't fix them, what you trying to do? Let them go. All right. I hear you. Let God be God. Yeah. Amen. Let him go. But I got investments. Some investments go bad. Right. Okay. Mm. Uh, if you invested in blockbusters, guess what? Oh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody invest in blockbusters? <laughs> when the last time you seen one? <laughs> okay. Yeah. If you invested in Motorola brick phones. If you invested in flip phones, okay. How about this is the day the Lord of Men? I'm gonna rejoice and be glad, and I'm gonna focus. I'm in the going to the promised land, and I'm not taking no backward steps. And whatever, whatever ice is in the way, gonna have to get out of my way, amen. Because God told me it's now time for me to possess the land. Not talk about it. That's what you need. Amen. Because if those birthdays come, and you're 40, and you're 50, you're 60, you're 30, <coughs> don't turn 20, and everybody else is where they want to be, and you not. Don't turn 30, especially 30. Don't turn 40. Don't be at a job and you 50 and here come a 24-year-old. And the only reason why they are your supervisor is because they went to school while you was there pledging foolishness. <laughs> and they start, you've been working and been working 15 years to make 50 and they start them at 50. That ain't no good feeling, people. They start them at 50 because they were disciplined. All right? self they, they had a critical spirit. The person with a critical spirit is always negative. And if that's your best friend, what's on them is on you. 
And you'll find out when you don't answer their phone, when you don't fool with them, you're going to feel better. And you're going to get some things done. How many of y'all have people consume your time? Amen. Or you tell them what to do and they don't do it. Okay. All right. Critical spirit rebellion. Hmm. A rebel. On the brink of the promised land and want to return back to slavery. <laughs> Get numbers 14. Look at verse 1 and 2. On the brink. When that man got knocked down, Jeff, he came back. He came back. When the man hurt him, he didn't finish him. When he hurt the man, he finished him. Okay? Wow. He exploded on it. Hmm. Which meant he had to, he had to put the knockdown he had to get that and push that to the back of his mind. If I get one person that push the set back, married the wrong person, whatever it was that held you back, push it to the back of your mind and swing hard, amen, and go forward. Uh -huh. Because if you don't, you say, I remember before I was up at the brink, but something happened. I'm going to be careful this time. No. Go for it. What about the knockdown? You learn not to go straight back after you throw a punch. You learn how to bob and weave. Okay? That's why thank God for Tuesday. You know what to look for. You ain't trying to have that kind of man no more. You ain't trying to have that kind of woman no more. Man, I don't care what. Who in here has learned their lesson? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it good to know somebody going to come home and not have to watch the news? Watch the news. Man, that ain't even... That's an easy one. So you're going to spend the next five years getting played like a yo... If the, Tony Braxton! Say, love should have brought you what? Home. Now y'all know they don't know three, three, three disciples. <laughs> Who Jesus daddy? Mr. Jesus. <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> come on now. Come on now. Come on. Uh, you there waiting on. You ain't trying to you ain't trying to do no street dude no more. No. You understand? You might banging on your door, the SWAT team outside. You don't want nobody coming your door with a little car, a little bag, a little cheap suit, four for four hundred dollars, <laughs> extra set of pants. <laughs> time I need to speak to you. That's a waste of your time. Okay. Huh? <laughs> and here, here, here's what we follow out. Where the mind fight at? Where the mind fight? That's how you lose 5, 10, 15, 20. That's how you lose it. Trust God, believe God, be the best saint you can be, and let the chips fall wherever they are. Amen. And you ain't worried about who get them, because whatever, whoever gets them gets what you get. It's that simple. Or Spend the next five years trying to make an adult act right there. But don't blame me. I'm about my life. <laughs> Trust and believe that. Five years of your life. I've done everything. That means you ain't got nothing else to offer then, right? <laughs> <laughs> no mind fight. Do you really think I can make another human being act right? Do you think I can make another human being act right? I done messed your day up. All right. Ingratitude. Not thankful. That's another a trait. 
not thankful for their blessings. They fail to appreciate what God did for them before. That's another reason why you come to the house of God. You are thankful for what God has done for you. Amen. I don't never have problems with members who are thankful. Thankful. Amen. Thankful. Uh, the, the, the beauty of, 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 of these young marriages, because you can teach them how to be thankful. Yeah. Not one day. I know one day, uh, if, 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 if that husband takes that family somewhere, uh, if he opens up and stays with it and gets that second or third gym, ain't nothing wrong with saying, babe, I remember when you was working for somebody, amen, and I'm thankful. I know you ain't never seen nobody do it. I'm not thankful. Don't know how to express it. Okay? I can teach those little baby. Man, man, man. I'm about to tell Trey, send him a text right now. I don't get no soundtrack. But he did. Gets it done. Fires try to start. They psh, get it done. You talk to them. You don't never hear what the other one's doing. They talk about what they're doing, how they can make it better. How about that? Beautiful, beautiful. Here's what I can do. Beautiful. Not what they're not doing. Here's what I can do. Yeah. You know why? Because then once you've done your best, you ain't got nothing else to offer. Mm -hmm. huh? So you keep your part is right. That's right. Yeah. See, but see, I always get the, 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 the condensed version. You always leave the part that you cuss them out of. <laughs> Are you swung on them? Are you through a chair? Are you wouldn't give them none? I always get the messed up version. Huh? Ooh. <laughs> I just thought I'd let y'all know. Instead of, here's why he cussed me out. I threw the sofa at him, <laughs> and I missed. <laughs> Why is he sick of you? It could be the decon I put in his cereal. Ooh. Okay. That's probably why he has a stomach ache. <laughs> She ain't acting right. How you know you ain't been home? Uh, how you like that one? How would you know? You ain't been home. <laughs> See, my woman supposed to be there at 3 in the morning. Hell no. Ain't nobody going to be waking me up at 3 in the morning to let you in. Stay where you were. Oh, man, that's good teaching. Same thing when you got a teenager. Huh? You open the door and they talking about three in the morning. No, no, stay. Right, man. Come on. Come on. I explain one door. No, no. You'll find out when you're a parent. You ain't got time. Ain't nobody sitting there at three o'clock, three o'clock waiting to let you in. Wherever you were that night, that's home now. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I always got to be the bad guy, and I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> the seventh trait, I know this is boring, until you marry one, you'd be like, can I make an appointment? No, no. <laughs> Telling you the traits to look out for now. You cannot go into the promised land if the person has one. They may have all seven of these traits. <laughs> now you really in hell. <laughs> Hear that last one. Unbelief. Hmm. Get Hebrews 3, 18 and 19. Person don't believe God. Hey, wait, what can you do about it? 
And numbers, I'll tell you a number something. Yeah. You <coughs> 14 and 4. That rebellion. Uh, you know what? Let's get numbers. Get number 14. It's all in there. First, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And they said one to another, let us make a captain and let us return into Egypt. Let's go back. Oh, man. Somebody who wants to go back to the world? Baby, let's go back to sell it. Let's go back to hustle it. And let me get back on the block. Oh, let's go back to you coming and putting some money on my books. You gotta be kidding. Huh? Can I go? You a plum fool. Man, I know a woman, her husband raped his son's <coughs> girlfriend. <coughs> And you mean to tell me that you're going to sit there and wait 10 years on somebody? Oh man, y'all, y'all, man, don't, don't, don't be writing no book. I ain't. Man, man. <laughs> 10 years, which means if it happened when you 30, you're going to wait till you 40 for them to come out. Low self-esteem. Huh? When you had made yourself available, we ain't talking about you rash your body, but you made yourself available, was trying to jump, they was putting you aside, but they were poking somebody else. You got to be kidding. Right. You shouldn't even have a mind fight. They asked Donald Trump's wife, they said, what's it like being married to a man like this? She said, you can't be married to no man like this unless you're strong. They said, you worry about him with other women? No. If he don't want me, I'm gone. She said, right when he was sitting, he looking at her like. <laughs> Come on. You know what's so hard about a church? You single mother, it, 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 so you don't want, but you always checking up on who they with. You shouldn't care. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Read. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly Don't of the Turn on Israel. leadership. Then Moses got to stop God from killing all these folk. They talking about him. He got to stop God from killing them. Because God said, you know, I ain't got no problem knocking all these people out. So I ain't got no problem. Because they're defeating the purpose. The purpose is, I said the land was yours, and these folk don't want to go there. They negate their own purpose. You better understand. If God called you to holiness, you can't do nothing else. Amen. You can try. Come on. That's another thing. So you can relax and God. If God called that person to be a man or woman of God and they out there tripping, you sleep like a baby. You ain't God. The same God. God know how. Man. You got to have confidence in God. Huh? Remember the triangle. The Kabanjis only have a love affair if God is first. If God ain't first, ain't no love affair. Amen. If a person decides they don't want to put God first, you can't adjust it. You cannot be handcuffed by human will. I dare say you stay with people, you put up with nonsense because you have low self-esteem. That's it. You're afraid of being embarrassed. <coughs> Ooh, let's just go ahead and go there. You're afraid of being embarrassed. Mm -hmm. As though it was something you did. If everybody blamed you, but God know you the man. Fly, Robin, fly. I heard that. What happened? They didn't want to be, I'm talking about you covered your basis. Don't be wrong and blame somebody. But you walk with God, you apply the word, and they don't want, you have no guarantee, amen, that they, amen, want to walk with God forever. That's why you have to have a relationship with God before you marry anybody. And you had to have that conversation. If you get fly, I won't be going with you. All right. I know that's right. 
And we don't have to fall out. We can just separate. You can go on about your business. Amen. If you don't want no clean booty, go out and get an infected one. But you ain't bringing that. I'm not sitting there going to no CVS worrying about you. Now, see, y'all made me come out my bag. <laughs> Papa got a brand new bag. <laughs> I think it's kind of smooth, right? What do you think I go over? If you don't, maybe she wants to hear. Sometimes your childhood could be so much full of hell, you don't want to make a mistake in your next period of life. Amen. If you're on the brink of a great love affair, a promised land love affair, amen, you don't want nothing taking you back. You've already had that kind of dude. You've already been hurt by that kind of dude. You are. You want to go forward. Huh? If I can't teach you, I teach your daughter. They like going out with me. <laughs> you ain't trying to get that kind of dude. We're on the brink of something, and there you go crying again. What's wrong, Chuck? <sighs> I just thought of it. Uh, we ain't going to be on Section 8 no more. Oh, no. You mean to tell me I got to pay over 200 a month? <laughs> 200 a month? It's messed you up, Chuck? And there you are sitting there. Time I look at Chuck. <laughs> we went up to 250 and Chuck is paralyzed over there. <laughs> For $50. Look at Chuck over there. Don't want to shave. <laughs> look at Chuck. Can't go far. Read. And Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, which were of them that searched the land, rent their clothes. And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, they saying. They didn't rent them out. They don't, like, yeah, see? What? No, they didn't rent them out. They tore their clothes. In other words, these people are crazy. See, God about to kill them. God about to kill them. God told Moses, like, look, you know what? I'll just make a great nation out of you. Okay? Told you when those people did that little re re rebellion thing 10 years ago, man, I'm washing my Corvette and Mary Williams' husband come up down the street crying. I had to help him out of something. I was like, God, what's going on? He's like, don't worry about it. That's my, he said, he, he got it. He said, whose church is it? I said, it's yours. He said, don't worry about it. Real talk. So God has no problem starting you over. Ooh, you better ask Abigail. God has no problem making you great by yourself. All right. God had no problem sending Davion to Berkeley with just Linda and nobody else. God had no, he didn't have no problem with that. So these two fall on their face. And I, you know, since I bored you, let me just bore you for the rest of the day. They had characteristics that you looked for. Some of y'all are not bored because you have never been told what to look for and what to avoid. <laughs> you needed this when you was at Tech High. Because <laughs> you sure ran into one of these seven bad, some of you ran into eight. <laughs> It's like a loop. You ever been to a city where it's a, if somebody don't pull, if you don't exit off, keep you just keep going around the city. I've seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Even my little Zoe, when I passed up Chuck E. Cheese, Papa, pay attention. <laughs> 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 
I was doing it on purpose. It was, you know, I was, kept, I was in the parking lot. Where is it? Where is it? It's there. It's there. It's there. Papa, pay attention. Right. Then they show her swimming. I mean, I want to. I think I'm going to go back down there because this baby is, they showed her, first time they showed a little video, she had a little flotation device and she was trying to kick it. You know, she's, I can do it. She gets to kick a little leg, just kick it. So then, you hear Cammy in the background say, show me you can cross the pool by yourself. She is just no flotation by. In the meantime, she says, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's right. <laughs> I got something to work with. Mm -hmm. If she can say it's right there with Chuck E. Cheese, why can't you say it's right there? You're on the brink of greatness. You're on the brink of your destiny. <laughs> it's right there. Forget about your mistake. Go forward. Okay? It's 120 some days left in a year. Read. I'm going to close out. I'm going to bore you all day today. The land which we pass through to search it is an exceeding good land. Good land. Read. If the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it us. A land which floweth with milk and honey. Look how positive they are. Two people out of ten. Positive thinking. Yeah, we got this. Huh? It's going to be an upgrade. We got this. Huh? If we're going to sacrifice anything, we're going to sacrifice a car for a house. Amen. The house will go up. We got this. Huh? We're going to run short about 300, but you got to do it. We're going to run about 300. Don't worry, baby. I got that part-time job. I got that. I think that part-time will bring in eight. Yeah, man, I mean, am I helping somebody? All right. Uh, it won't be forever. It'll just be till we get over, till we knock this bill out. Man, you got two people with a strategy working on a bill. Huh? Watch this now. Then, 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 then to capitalize on it. Uh, Tony, what happens is you get that kind of man and oh, look, I'm gonna work with, we're gonna get this done. And then when he gets it done, a year later, have an anniversary. See, you ain't gotta be the one no anniversary when you done showed your mm, your behind. For, I'm good, boy. I, I, see, I pull back on that. Mm. 364 days. Okay. Two years later, huh? What's this? Remember when we was underwater for 300 you went and got that part-time job I never forgot he say honey not 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 I used to show you Mary that child coming this church hurt she just wrote that down I never forgot what you did and that's the problem you want what other people have, but you don't want to put in the input. There you go. Because yep. it's beneath you. Yep. <laughs> That's why I talk to young people. Two years, she said, I remember you did that. Then, so then the man go, oh, that wasn't no big. I had, you know, I'm doing it for us. I'm trying to get us far. Oh, but it was a big deal. Yeah. Because that was the turning point. We could have suffered another five years if you hadn't made that extra step. But because you made that extra step, huh, we got it knocked out in seven months. Y'all ain't hearing me. See the difference? Okay. Today is your day to be bored. I was going to stop, but you're so bored, I'm going to put you to sleep. <laughs> so, so I can leave early. 
Here are the five attributes that Caleb and, because I'm going to show you that Caleb, your Bible said he had a different spirit. See, be, being different ain't putting eight colors in your hair, drawing on yourself. Being different is when you have a spirit that locks into the promises of God and everything else has to take second place. You don't even concentrate on it. Uh, I'm different. I believe God. If you just believe God, you become different. Okay? You are kept. Different is, I will not be such a, there's a certain goal I have in mind within four months and I'm getting there. That makes you different. And I don't have time for your rebellion. Don't come over. Don't call me. Do you. But I'm not going to hold up my thing. I'm at the promised land. There's somewhere I'm trying to go. Man, am I the only one? When I got somewhere to go, I don't like waiting on nobody. <laughs> Yesterday, my plane got in from Boston. I told my wife, pick me up at 1 o'clock, because that's when I said the plane was going to land. Well, the plane landed at 12.30, 12.35. Do you know that was an excruciating 25 minutes? And I told her not to come to 1. I mean, so she came at 1.05. But the point is, in my mind, you show how I think. I'm like, man, if I'd have drove my own car, I could have been home 25 minutes. It wasn't no big deal. Because I told her one, but the flight got in early. Don't get to be 59 before you become cognizant of time. Right. Oh, it's just 25 minutes. You, you missed the whole point. Huh? Don't be closing out too before you become cognizant of the passing of time. To the point, we in Boston, and we, Linda said, who, who, can we, who can we expose because that atmosphere get to you. So who, who can we bring down here and expose them to this? <clears throat> when Mark Anthony was around looking at, man, it's so crazy. We're so far behind. Some of these homes go back to early 1900s, 1920, where some, somebody, nobody sold them. They just kept them. Okay? So you got all these row houses and all this, just, just these historic buildings, but didn't nobody think about the depression, all that? Somebody still kept it. Somebody still kept it when everything else was lost, but they kept their property. Man, you can't touch. How about these numbers? For, for Chuck, who is sweating 250 rent, how about one bedroom, one bath, 600 square feet for $2,250 a month? Yeah, in Boston. For two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars a month, you can't do a half cartwheel in there. You'll kill yourself. <laughs> See what happens if you grasp it, possessing now, possessing over renting because of fear. Possessing ties and offering. Rafi just told me about some job he got. Gonna pay him twenty five to thirty five hundred a month, fifty something dollars an hour. First thing I said was ties and offering. He said, "Yeah, I prayed for this job. Yeah, I know who his best friend is. Who don't believe in ties and offering? Keep rolling." Watch God take it all at once. Oh, people are crazy. So that's my next move. If you believe in tithing off, you need to cut them off. That's my child. And you know what helped them? You know what helped them char? When I was all with them, they was all broke at the same time. And I flashed. I flashed on them. Some stacks. <laughs> Didn't give nobody nine. <laughs> we was at the restaurant. I did it under the table. I said, you know what? I, I, they was all, man, it was E.F. Hutton. Everybody could have put their ear out. Like, 
I said, I got the answer to all y'all little situation. Right here. <laughs> I ain't giving y'all nothing. <laughs> My son hit me back. It, 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 it definitely has worked for you. Thank you. Thank you. And it'll work for you too. That's right. Amen. It's a principle. Amen. Let me bore y'all again. Y'all, y'all, that, that, I didn't like that response. That was... <laughs> Here are the five attributes. <laughs> the first thing is faith. Don't marry nobody, don't have no faith. <laughs> faith. That person's faith will pull you out of crazy stuff. Amen. Huh? If you marry a quitter, oh my goodness. Remember, the problem here, general, is there will be no more manna falling out the sky. You got to go build a home for God. Okay? They believed in themselves. Wow, how do you know? The conversation, the scent. We are well able to overcome. That's your scent, your words. Mm -hmm. They say we're not approved. I believe God. Huh? If God sees something in this building that I don't see, God. Amen. I don't want it, but God, I know you told me a building. Amen. If it's not this one, it's another one. Your words. Watch this now. You marry somebody, you excited about something. I got to teach my best. Why y'all, I got a little money. Y'all roll with me tonight. I'll feed y'all again. Huh? Show some excitement if you don't know what to say. Right. 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 Amen. You believe God? Oh, yeah, I believe him. No, you don't. And when you got big eyes, you got to really use them to express. <laughs> you understand? What's wrong with, for us? Yes! Pull over! No, no. <laughs> and that's it. Now, I ain't talking about, don't get excited about a dude trying to show you something he don't work. Because that's a waste of gas. <laughs> Honey, let's go look at this house. Can you, you got $5? No, 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 I don't. No, I don't. You walk and go see it. <laughs> Faith. Of course, Oh, mm. you can't expect him to have faith in your God when y'all jump the gun. Right. right. Amen. Amen. Because he figured later on, if y'all get together, you fail, you cheat on God. So what? We, we, we cheat on God before. Let's just, this is just another incident. Hmm. See how you use your testimony? Huh? He said, well, hold on. Remember how we got together? How we didn't jump the gun? How we couldn't crawl through the telephone line? Amen. So we got married. But our faith, if God kept us, amen, then God, amen, knows that we love him from the bottom of our heart and we can wave our report card in front of him. <laughs> you know, on my little, you know, I'm real slick. You know, when... Um, you picked it up. Remember that chick asked why that star was on the jacket? And I came back with that response. Anytime I pull my vocab out, think I'm dealing with a hater. Right. I don't pull my vocab out, that's I'm dealing with a hater. Okay? I pull vocab like, look, before you go any further, I'm about to spank you. 
because I love words. Amen. Okay. <laughs> I was going to inbox you. I thought I'd tell you right now. Anytime you see me, that, so then they try to come back. You know, I've always been inquisitive. No, you and your husband have always been a hater. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Because I, I mean, I don't. Because, tell the truth. Be, because I ain't got to show off. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's not necessary. Right. Huh? I pull it out when I have people doubt me. <laughs> well, you know, okay, here we go. Right. You pull out your reality TV show, I'm going to pull out my little dictionary. Okay? No, I'm going to show you. He, you know, you're a hater. <laughs> and you can't put me in a little box. Black Ronnie ain't got nothing to do with you. I'm black and my middle name's Ronnie. That's all you need to know. Right. <laughs> and I'm not looking for your approval. You can't afford my stuff anyway. Right. Huh? But, but since you're inquisitive... And you know, and you know what her problem is? She married to a jealous man. Mm -hmm. Everything I do is interesting to them. Mm -hmm. But the kids love me. Figure that out. Boy, that felt good. <clears throat> <laughs> the second thing that you need to look for in a person: confidence. Confidence. A man got to have confidence, especially if you're a confident woman. Don't be bringing a little sad sack Pee Wee Herman. And you confident. I remember my daughter Jessica about 6'2". Man, and Jessica, boy, every time she talks, she be, hey, Jessica, stand up. You are 6'2". Hey, Amen. Don't be squatting down. Right. Stand up. You have confidence. Uh, you know, confidence attracts people. It does. Yeah. You have to be confident to acknowledge somebody else's gift. That's right. Because right. you got your own, huh? See, when you confident, you compliment folks. Oh, you good at that. Right. And see, when you don't have no confidence, you be trying to argue uh, uh, with Davion about drumming. Mm -hmm. You stupid. <laughs> he picked up one stick and we thought it was two. Come on now. Confidence. You say, what's the poll? Look, 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 how do you know they had confidence? Their words, their scent. The people are bred for us. They had confidence in the outcome of the undertaking. So that man, who you're 300 un, uh, underwater, but this is an opportunity, this is a house, whatever, I got this. If I bring in eight, huh? That bishop know where we at? That's, man, that girl is married. She always, I always know where she's at. Even though it's routine, that's just the, the level of respect. So she can respect her past, she can easily respect her husband, okay? Huh? So, 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 so when that man says, I got it, which meant I won't be quitting in the middle of the loan. Right. Ain't nothing worse than somebody, yeah, we got it. Hey, where? Oh, I quit. I know this is boring stuff, but this stuff will change your life. When somebody quit in the middle of an agreement, then the dude comes to me and talking about, man, something wrong with my marriage. Oh, I'm gonna say ninja is you. Right. So you got guests coming. See, I'm trying to be ready for the guests. Because they ain't ready for me, you know what I'm saying? You quit in the middle of the deal. <laughs> so that, that's weak. So a person get all excited, we're gonna get this done, huh? And then you quit. They're gonna sing me a sad song. Vice, right? let me talk to you. Somebody gonna love you, boy. Same thing. You're 300 underwater, you need 300. You say, guess what, honey, you what? You bring in four, I bring in four. We're gonna get this done, we gotta have a house. I, I grew up without a house. I want a house. I wanna have my own house. I want to know what, I wanna be able to walk around my house. I mean, you know that's a big deal? I want my own house. I don't wanna live with nobody. I want my own 
You, you, know, you know I could rent my place out in Arizona for like four stacks a month. I got it. I don't like sharing, number one. I don't want nobody in my house. I got two Ralph Lauren beds that was $7,000 beds I got for $770. Woo. Poster beds made of nickel. Mm -mm. I ran into a 90% off sale. Mm -mm -mm. And the lady returned the one bed. She didn't like it. Thank you, heifer. Hey, Amen. I got the queen and the fool. I got $7,000 worth of beds for $770. <laughs> <laughs> That is Thank you, Heifer. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> it just sits there. Okay? Might be a big deal to you. Only reason why you come to the McCullough house, see, I can just teach, so I love young people. I can just teach one person who ain't bored. They've been through too much to be bored. Huh? That may be a big deal to you. It is a big deal to you. Well, don't go talking about, yeah, I'm on, I got my end, and then you quit too. Because that's the agreement. That's the agreement. You was going to bring in four, I was going to bring in four, we're going to get this done. And it's going to be temporary. Right. Once we get our goal accomplished, y'all know how to work with somebody? Yeah. Once we get our goal accomplished, because if you get older and both of y'all don't want nothing, which means you can't handle, man. Don't look up Bishop Bismarck's latest message. He said, if you don't leave something for the grandkids, you basically have participated in evil. Uh, I'm just, nah, nah, nah. I'm did you read that? If you don't leave something for your children's children, you have helped Satan perpetuate poverty and evil. How you like that? Mm. Uh -huh. So the Wilson family, man, you go to Boston, that's why I told somebody, me and Linda was talking about, who can come here and appreciate that atmosphere? Okay? So what's better? Your child working at McDonald's ain't never going to change the name. Or your child working in the family business. <laughs> Warner Trucks, they all over the world. They're all over Canada. Warner Trucks, that man is 77 years of age. He's not, his son just retired as a CEO. Perhaps, man, because daddy, daddy said he started that thing in 1956 with one truck. And he's 77. And he said, I let it go with my health failure. He said, but I'm very healthy. That's in the paper, 77 years of age. So his son retired, so he said, I'm going to go back and be the CEO. I'm going to groom. Since this man that I'm going to groom is not a water, I'll step back into the CEO role, and I'll groom him for another few years. Right. Y'all, that just flew over your head, didn't it? Okay. Confidence. I'll, take, I'll make a lateral move just to get it done for my family. Huh? And my wife don't have to worry about amen. That's why you don't never trip with a man that wants something. If he wants something, he got a work ethic. Right. If it has to fall in his lap, you're going to be poor and miserable. You both get it done. You feel me? You both get it done. You get married. You don't... Pass that beauty out for somebody, amen. You get married, you find somebody that wants something, you don't want to be nobody's boo, you've been through all right, you don't want nobody don't have no, no goals. Only goal is to screw you. But once that's accomplished, that's it. Then you got to wait 15 years to see if he want the rest of you. I'll answer for you right now, no. Right, amen. Because he wanted the rest of you, he'd have married the rest of you. Lord have mercy and stay faithful. Right. Confidence. Confidence to be married. Courage. Fear them not. 
What did they not fear? The giants? They did not fear the walled cities? They did not fear anything in there. No fear. We're going to get this done. Oh, man, some of y'all are going to have love affairs. And they won't know where you came from. Did you fall out of my... Name another church that got a single mama driving a Porsche car in. Right. Huh? How's she going to afford it? None of your adjective business. See the improvements I made? <laughs> oh, your business. I like the fact she even looked at one. Now that'll make your bottom lip drop if the person looking at her has a Panamera and he only looked at her because she has a, oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> we talking about the courage to go for your dream. What if I get laid off? What if you don't? Right. Oh, you're going to be here. What if, we, what if we lose it? You just messed up. Right. Are, y are you men listening? Yeah. What, what, what? I don't, I don't want to get a hump. You know, the person in the apartment can put you out. You know that, don't you? And raise your rent. They can double your rent. Yeah. What you going to do? Huh? What if, if you marry or what if we lose it, man, you're going to be miserable. What if we lose it? What if, what if, what if they foreclose? Baby, we just got in it. Y'all don't get this. This is boring, ain't it? No. Come on now. Courage. If they let me go at noon, I'll have another job by two. Amen. Somebody, you got to have. That's why I'm going to see my little Zoe. I got it. <laughs> no flotation advice. Okay. We talking about in a span of weeks. So her goal in mind was to make it to the other side of the pool without a flotation in mind. Man, I can work with that. Here's another trait you have to have. Some of y'all try to put your order in right now for these traits. But you're afraid of the giants, you're afraid of the walled cities, are you afraid of the strength of the people? Oh man, for action. Caleb said, let us go up at once. Positive people want to do it now. Action. Whatsoever man think of his heart, so he, he's a man of action. Go get it done. Quit talking about it. I hate window shop. I get Davion down there, man. You know, Davion, this hawk is, Boston is crazy cold. You from a single mother? So I'm going to show you a look where they won't be questioning you because these people come from wealth, all right? <laughs> so we go down to this place. I said, I want you to get this coat right here. First of all, I mean, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a, you can get a nice winter coat and you can get a coat. I don't care how low the temperature get because you got to go from class to class. He got classes on these buildings. I said, this is why I love this kid. I said, come on, let's go downstairs. So I want, I want you to try it on first. It's called Canada Goose. And it's the Expedition Parker, which hit about right here. Uh, it can get as low as about 20, 30 below. Still. I mean, that's why that name is jumping up. Matter of fact, I even told Charlie Rossi, he should start carrying it. Anyway, so he's trying on Canada Goose. It's like 925. Now you say, oh, that's his, oh, 925. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. 
or you could buy a $200 coat every year for four years. Right. See my point? Right. You could buy 220 and freeze to death. <laughs> $220 coat for four years and, and free. Because what you do, you'll try to layer the coat first year on top of the other one. Oh, or you can get you one, all they're going to do is go up in price. Huh? And then, so when that child walks around and they see that Canada goose, that emblem, huh? That, man, that, you, don't, you don't care who his mom, because all you know is this child walking around here in a $900 coat on, and it's cold. Amen. No questions asked. Huh? But what I love about this guy, he was in there about, how can I? Afford? Well, then that's not a fair analogy. When God blessed you to get $60,000 in your account, amen, what's another stack? And you know, he's a giant. He does his own selfies. And yeah. <laughs> but he's a man. You, you just love seeing him walking. Just, just walking. Taking stride. Action. Action. We can't have nobody slow him down. Somebody's going to have to be able to keep up with this young man. Of, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Y'all should be proud. a young man of action. He can lead his church today and be a star. He don't want to be a star. He want to be a man of God and get a woman of <laughs> See why I kick it with him? <laughs> action. Here's what you need to do. Get this done. Going forward. You hook up with somebody who don't have no action, it's always talk, talk, talk. Next year we're gonna get me. Some of y'all ran to that camp. Next year, next year, next year. Oh, <laughs> Caleb, right now. Now the reason why I teach you, you're into a man of action, you can't be dragging. If you come to me, I'm going to say, I don't know what's wrong with her. She's in my class. I told her. Matter of fact, mm, if I think he too much for you, I'm going to say, man, hey, she ain't going to be a keep up with you. You wouldn't do me that way. Why would, why would I do him that way? That's somebody else's child. Right. Amen. That's why I don't pay for you to just put on a good foot when somebody new coming to church. Also, you try to, no, nah, hype it up. No, nah, stay hyped. Then it's a part of you. Stay hype when all hell done broke loose. Stay hype when all hell done broke loose. Amen. Then somebody can read it. I seen her in action. When all hell broke loose and this fell apart, she didn't fall apart. She stayed faithful in the house of God. She believed that. That's why she's where she's at right now. Amen. May God bless you with an action figure. <laughs> <laughs> Figure. <laughs> <laughs> May you marry one of the expendables. Yeah, I want somebody with a big gun. See, you're nasty. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew, I knew. I, I know what's in it. <laughs> Look at Karen over there. I fell out her chair. Suppose you go to an action movie and there's no action. You hot, aren't you? Yeah. You go to a Tom Cruise Mission Impossible, there's no car chase. There are no bikes. There's no gunfire. There's Tom sitting at a Christian science room reading. <laughs> like, I'm going to be looking at my class. I know either the room going to explode, something about to pop off. Because it's supposed to be an action movie. Okay? They asked me, why didn't you like the Superman movie? I don't care how he came in the world. Where's the phone booth? Where's the cake? Where, where? I don't care. They come show me some old Star Trek mess. I said, what, am I, what show is this? <laughs> I literally walked out and said, I'm old. 
old school. Where the cape at? Where the nerd glasses at? Well, come on up. Where the hat at? Where the... Okay. <laughs> come show me how he came in the world. Took up half the movie. <laughs> Good action flick. You see somebody on the run? Somebody in a bad Armani suit? Huh? Driving a car backward. Oh man, I be loving that stuff. Shooting at people, pow, pow, be like. <laughs> then they bring the music. Four people already done died. <laughs> good car, you can't beat a good car chase. Good motorcycle chase. Cars coming down steps. <laughs> Even when I see the previews, I'll be like, I'm going to see that. <laughs> you don't marry an action figure. There you are in a Christian science room reading. <laughs> Bored to death. <coughs> Got a remote on his stomach. <coughs> <laughs> And they had nerve to fall asleep, ain't did nothing all day. <laughs> Everybody ain't laughing. Thankfulness. I know that this promised land is a gift from God. This life you have blessed us with is a gift from God. Huh? A gift from God. These children are a gift from God. Huh? I'm going to give one of my babies, maybe Marquis. Marquis, a little stunner. She's going to send him a little text message. The life you have provided for is a gift from God. Huh? We ain't talking about no anniversary. We're talking about just your, the way you think. Your thankfulness is a gift from God. Nobody, nobody regrets being with someone who's thankful. Amen. Write that down. Mm -hmm. Thankful. Tony, you sent him a card. Thank you. For covering me, protecting me for this home. For teeth and showing me structure. Thank you. When you come from where there's no curfew, where you can rip and run. Wow. Every head bow. I just bored y'all to death.